Well, another lessons to live by. I pray that you've been blessed by the ones that I have presented and shared with you thus far. Today, my lesson is on an open door. An open door. When I thought about an open door, I thought about the churches. Are you familiar with the seven churches in uh, Revelation? I believe they go from two and three, chapters two and three. So let's talk a little bit about those churches. And then we'll be able to go in and I can address what I am uh, really wanting to share with you is an open door. Seven churches. All of the churches were not welcomed by God at all, uh, based upon who they were and what they've done. We have the church of Ephesus. We know that the church of Ephesus, he says that you've, you've walked away from your first love. We have the church of Laodicea. He talks about them being hot or cold, and he says, I'll spew you out of my mouth. My God, so they were, you know, lukewarm, like we have many churches today. We want to bring the outside into the church, but we don't want the, the, the church to go outside that much and to walk in holiness. And so when I thought about church and denominations, denominations, we should all be saying that we are a holiness church. God has really been working with me in so many areas. Uh, a holiness church because there's a scripture that says be ye holy for I am holy we have ascribed to or become a part of a different denomination by choice or by heritage or by something that we've just fallen into that we like but is that what God has called us to and ordained us to so those are two churches the church of Smyrna not many uh, things going on there the works of tribulation was going there they were impoverished we have Pergamos. They were still worshiping Balaam, uh, uh, the god, god there uh, uh, in, in that, that area, which was horrible. We have Thyatira. They tolerated the Jezebel spirit, compromise, led by sexual immorality. We have Sardis. Appears to be live but dead. That is amazing. But then we have the church of Philadelphia that God says that he knows. And so in the book of Revelation, in uh, 3 and 8, the verse of Scripture says, I know your works. See, I've set before you an open door, and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. That's amazing that, that he tells them that. That's amazing that he's talking to them in that manner for them to uh, be the selected church that he's talking about. Uh, I know your works. I know what you've done. I know who you are. I know what you're capable of. That's phenomenal because God knows. He says, but God knew the works of all seven churches. Yes, he did. Uh, yes, he did. I'm, I'm logging on to my prayer line because I didn't do that. Pardon me. Hallelujah. And so what he's doing, he's speaking to us. Uh, he's t t asking us, what church are you a part of? That is what he's doing to us today. What church are you a part of? And how are you operating? But then he tells the church in Philadelphia, he says, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. And so when I began to read the scripture, I began to think about my church that God has called me to be ambassador, facilitator over, the shepherd over. He said, I've set before the Sanctuary Christian Center an open door and no one can shut it. My God, not just because I declare that we are the church of Philadelphia, but we're going to walk through the reasons why. Uh, he, I open the door for you. It speaks about an evangelistic opportunity that Jesus has given us, an opportunity to reach out by faith, to go out in the community. The walk that we have in 2024 is a walk of faith like never before. I am declaring by the name of Jesus, that the mortgage is paid off in 2024. My God, God performed the miraculous in this house because we are walking in evangelistic opportunities. God sets an open door for us for evangelistic opportunity, but many times we don't see it. So I am asking God that this year that our vision is clear, that we have clarity 
in our spiritual walk. My God, the open door is open for us that we can see. And once the door is open and we see it, we can walk right on through it. Huh? There's no problem with it. God wants to take every evangelistic opportunity that he gives us. He wants us to take advantage of it. My God, in reaching the lost. And allowing folk to come into the church, laying hands on the sick and they shall recover. Going out into the community, trying to bring the community back into the house of God. For the pandemic had made many people stray. People are doing bedside Baptist ministry, but they're not doing much with that. They're just going from one YouTube channel to another. Not really sitting there and absorbing the word of God. We get wrapped up in so much formality, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. God says, I'm giving you in 2024 an open door, an open door. He wants us to take advantage of it. And so he's speaking to the, the Christians in Philadelphia. He's saying, though, even though you were excluded from the synagogue, you were excluded from some things. No man can shut you out once I've opened this door for you. Ah, uh, you will not be hindered any longer. There's nothing that can keep you from an access door that I'm about to open for you. He who opens and no one shuts and shuts, no one opens. God says in Revelation 3 and 7, he says, I'm giving your church, I'm giving you church individuals an opportunity to keep this Christian door open. He's talking about uh, the kingdom of heaven is at our disposal. That we are kingdom uh, Christians, that we are kingdom builders, that we are ascribing to and, and putting our minds in the place of God first. God's opening the door for ministry, for ministry in this church and, and churches abroad. Jesus opens the door, and when Jesus opened the door, Jesus gets the glory for it. Ah, For he says to the churches, we go down a little further in that verse, he says, for you have a little strength. He's not talking about just a minute amount of strength that he has. He's talking about the little strength you have has made you strong but the strength that I am about to impart to you is about to open doors ah for you have not totally relied on all of your skill set on everything that you're capable of getting done yes I've helped you to elevate to be ready to to read to to write to write books to do things to master certain things be CEOs on jobs to be doctors and lawyers all of those prominent positions I've allowed you to do that because you've humbled yourself I'm opening a door for you you because my strength in your weakness, when you do have weakness and you are frail, ah, ah, you relied on my strength. Oh, you begin to depend on me. So Paul puts it like this, God's strength is evident in our weakness, those of us that are frail and that are walking through the doors that God has opened for us, the doors of Philadelphia. I want you to keep in mind what I'm saying to you about the doors of Philadelphia. Your doors in 2024 are open like never before by faith, by faith, by faith. Whatever you declare to walk in by the will of God, that it shall be evident and manifestations, great manifestations shall occur in your life. Woo! He says, have kept my word. And have not denied my name. Do you know that many people have denied the name of the Lord? My God. We have some folk, uh, and it's not being um, uh, judgmental of someone and, and their beliefs. Uh, some folk just walk in the Old Testament. The Old Testament had been concealed, but it's been revealed through the New Testament. We got to eat the whole scroll, not a part of it. So I pray for those churches that are operating by those guidelines because man, the dogma of man has said that that's the way that they should operate. I pray that we would have a spirit of discernment. Those of us church, church, your church, my church, that's in agreement with the Holy Ghost and agreement with the Church of Philadelphia that we are walking by faith and not by sight. We are relying on God. We're walking by faith and not by God, by sight. The faithfulness of the word of the Lord, the faithfulness of Jesus. He says, you kept my word, church. 
You have not denied my name. How many of us are walking by faith today and declaring the works of the Lord and believing God for great supernatural things like never before? He's a God of miracles. Yes, he is. Miracles that we declare because we know it in our finite state, uh, uh, but in the infinite wisdom of God, all things are possible to them that believe. And so, God, now we take the opportunity to say, thank you, Lord, for an open door. My God, thank you for an open door. Thank you for an open door. Thank you for an open door. God, thank you for the doors that are open in our lives in this new season. Yeah, God, whatever suppressed us, whatever we were going through, those things will not ail us in 2024. No, the devil had us trapped and deceived. Many of us were operating in our emotions because that's all we knew. How oh, I'm, 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 I'm stressed. I'm overwhelmed. This is too much for me. God allowed you to have it. God is saying that I'm giving you some spiritual stamina. Stand in me and not in yourself. That's what he's talking about. We are little strength. In, in, in the Philadelphia church. We have a little strength, but in God, we have the most strength that I'm not relying on myself. All that we are able to get done in the Sanctuary Christian Center is due to the power of God and the wisdom and the faith that I declare in the earth that great manifestations may occur, that men may see the works of God and glorify the Father which is in heaven. I get no glory. I am just the vessel to be used. God gets all the glory. God, we bless you. God, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Thank you for the open doors in 2024. What are those doors for some folk that we've denied the works of the enemy? Those stressors, that spirit of depression, that high spirit of anxiety shall no longer overwhelm us any longer in the name of Jesus. We are relying on the spiritual strength of God, walking in wisdom and knowledge and power and authority like never before. What are some of those stressors or I have to work a job and the enemy is present before we get there. He's peeking on the top of the roof, waiting for us to open the door, waiting for turmoil to start. Oh, we bind up the works of the enemy. We submit ourselves to the Lord and we resist the enemy and he shall flee. In submitting myself, so while I'm in, 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 in on journey to where I've got to go, I'm submitting my spirit to the Lord that, that those things that had one captured me and had my mind go astray no longer has a stronghold over me. Whatever's going on in your home, you don't have to fall prey to that any longer. I speak against those obstacles and, uh, and, 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 and challenges that await us in our homes, be it with a spouse, be it with a parent, be it with a child. The, that spirit is broken in 2024 because we're walking by faith and not by sight. Thank you, God, for this great opportunity. Thank you, God, for new jobs that are unfolding, for folk that declare that they want a new job in youth, that they may be able to, to come to service. We have about four members that are working nights in the church that just started coming, just getting themselves uh, in, in doctrine in the word of the Lord. And now they must work a job. A, a man must work. Uh, uh, other than that, he does not, not eat. He's worse than an infidel. That's what the word of the Lord says. And so they must work, Father. But we pray for regular schedules, yeah, over their lives for Sharita, for Alexis, for Raziel, for Jeremiah, yeah, 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 that they may be able to come into the house of the Lord. Some folk are already weak, and so when they don't get word, they become weaker. But that's a trick of the enemy. But I pray as the ambassador and the shepherd over their souls, God, that you would release them from those times and they would have regular working times that would allow them to participate in the service, to work worship, to read the word of the Lord, to participate in Bible study, to be present on Sunday services and any other services in the house of the Lord, that they may be able to work the works, Father, that you've ordained them to work. That's a trick of the enemy. God, we pray for open doors, for financial increase in some folk lives. Some folk are barely making it, operating off of just the minimum wages, God. That is not the will of God. Folk desire to give more in their tithe and they're barely just making it. Father, we're praying for a great increase. Where is it coming from? From above. Oh, blessings don't come from the north, the south, the east, or the west. The blessings come from above. And so we pray those into being because we're so grateful for being a part of the Philadelphia church that God 
that this is the season for abundant blessings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Abundant blessings that shall overwhelm us, manifestations greater than we've ever seen before that would give us an abundance of testimonies of what God, not God, who God is, what God continues to do. Our God is performing miracles. We are trusting you for them. Just like you did way back when, you said in the word of God that you don't change, Father. You're the God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. Hear the cries of your people as we pray. Woo, God, thank you for the open doors. Thank you for the challenges, God, for we no longer are running. No, 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 God. We're not running out of where the obstacles are. We are resting and abiding in where the obstacles are. For God, you're the core. You're in the core. You're the nucleus of the storm. You're right there orchestrating it, allowing whatever it is that's taking place. You're allowing it for our good. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. God, help us to understand purpose. What's the purpose? We don't ask the those questions. We're too busy asking for an out. We're looking for escape and you're trying to say stay because I want to learn you something. We can't learn anything unless we fall down. The child doesn't learn how to walk unless the child falls down numerous times. And then the child learns that I must not stumble. I got to slow down in my walk and my walking and quit running and turn around and walk. And so what God is saying to the church today, walk through the storm. Quit trying to run so much while you're in the storm. Let's trust God while we're in the storm. Let us be educated spiritually while we're in the storm. That we have a testimony to tell someone, I remember when I didn't have no lights. I remember when I, I didn't have no food. I remember when I didn't have no water uh, over an entire weekend. And we, my family and I washed up off of just the water jugs that we got out the store. My God, my God, and heated it up on the stove. Do you remember those days way back when? And not just to talk about it, but to let folk know that I made it. I survived. And so it was on a Friday. And here comes the Monday that someone came out. But I made it from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Can you look back over your life and see where you were 10 years ago? Come on, church, and go with me. Can you look back over your life and see where you were 20 years ago? Can you look back and see where you were 30 years ago? Can you look in your childhood for those that may have been abused or molested or just beaten or emotionally? traumatized. But look what God has done today. He says that he would, he would bless us. He would keep us if we desire to be kept. If we keep our minds on Jesus. That was then, but this is now. Those strongholds are broken. My God. Those generational curses are destroyed because we're standing tall and we've learned how to walk through the open door in this church of Philadelphia. We're no longer crying like Jeremiah cried out for the folk. We're not even crying for ourselves anymore. We've learned how to rejoice even when there's trauma. We've learned how to rejoice even when we're sick. We've learned how to rejoice even when it don't look right. We learn how to rejoice when there's a foggy day. Yeah, when it's raining outside and it's raining in my heart. It's raining in my life. God, 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 but you are the God of all. And my, my, my tomorrow is brighter than my yesterday. And so I'm hoping you for the greatest of hopes ever. I'm believing you for things that I cannot do. I'm asking God to do something that is magnificent for this church and a testimony for this community. Pay the mortgage at 5744 Highway 20 South. My God. How it's coming is coming by God's grace. It's coming and, be, and may be delivered through the hand of man, but will be put on the heart of man. Have the man that wants to give us the land next door, wants us to buy it, give it to us, God. I feel it in my spirit that somebody's going to offer us the building or the land, my God, in the name of Jesus. So now I testify to it and I speak in the power and the authority. I speak by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost that's in me, my God. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Send the messenger. Yeah, 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 to 5744 Highway 20 South, Georgia 20 South, whatever you want to say, send the messenger, God, uh, that, that we may receive the blessings because they're on the way. Come on, come on, come on, church, come on, come on. 
beyond church members and saying that the blessings are on the way to this church. The blessings are on the way in my life. My God, I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited. He says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He tells us to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And so we've got to be courageous in this walk. You've got to be strong in this walk. You've got to depend on God and not yourself. God speak to the church. He with an ear let him hear what the spirit of the Lord now, right now, is saying to the church. Somebody's suffering. Somebody's going through. Somebody cried. And I tell you like Mary Mary said, and I want to give you my testimony. I cried my last tear yesterday. I no longer have to cry like Jeremiah because I'm standing in the power and the strength of God. And I'm trusting God by faith, not by what I see. Mm -mm. Faith isn't just what you see. You see it in the spiritual, my God. But I'm believing God that God is moving us in that direction. And so have us to walk the steps. Because the word has declared that a, a good man's steps are ordered by God. Help me to hear the sound of the Lord uh, for where you've already walked that I'm able to walk in those same steps, God. I declare it by faith, God. I declare it by faith, the abundance of blessings. Blessings, God, that we are the church of Philadelphia today. And we're walking by faith and not by sight. We're trusting God for what we've declared by faith. We're praying at 6 a.m. in the morning. We're praying at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. When we've laid the foundation, the ground has been nurtured. My God, we now we're tilling it. Hiya, Satan. Hey, we're tilling the ground and, and now the harvest is just about there, God. In another 30, 40, 60 days, the harvest shall grow, my God, and we shall reap what we've sown now. We're sowing in prayer. We're sowing by faith. We're sowing in fasting. We're trusting you. You said if we be willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. And plenty is in the land. The plenty of spiritual gifts. The plenty for us to survive off. The plenty for financial increase. The plenty that my soul shall prosper. And even as my soul prospers, my health that you've declared, I declare in the word of God that I shall have good health and prosper. By the word of the Lord and God, you said that I could give you back your word. And so I give you back your word. And you have declared to me, God, that your word would not return unto you void. Oh, Father, I bless you. Oh, yeah, no, 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 sir. Hey, ba ya na 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 so ko sa ti ya na 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 se. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm declaring your word, Father, that it is so. I speak it, God, in the name of Jesus, and it is so. And it is so, Father, and it is so, Father. We declare the works of the Lord shall be made manifest in the earth, God. What the devil is trying to bring in the church cannot happen. No, 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 God. We're standing, those of us that are ambassadors, we won't be silent any longer. We will speak the truth. We will be radical in this day and this age because Jesus is coming. He's looking for the Philadelphia church. A church without a spot or a wrinkle. A church that will not be lukewarm. No, I wish that, that, would be, that you would be hot or cold. I'm spewing you out of my mouth. We got to stand in this fire. Come on, church, and get in the furnace. My God. Because it's hot up in here. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's trust God by faith like never before. Whatever you're going through, I declare today as we are praying under the auspices of the Holy Ghost that you can pray this by faith. That I am restored, uh-huh. That I am somebody. That I am not a weak vessel. That I've got spiritual strength. I thank you for, for natural stamina. I thank you for strengthening my bones. I thank you, God, that this diabetes is healed. I thank you, God, that this arthritis is healed in our bodies. I thank you, God, that depression is dissolved and, and dissipating in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that the headache that we once had, we shall have no more in the name of Jesus. Oh, blood pressure is decreasing right Right now we claim it we declare it we walk in it we give it to Jesus God today 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 it is the will of God that we shall pray it is the will of God that we shall pray it is the will of God that we shall be delivered yay God in the name of Jesus hallelujah it's your will God we walk in your will I am restored. I am renewed. I am rejuvenated. I am revived by the blood of the Lamb. I declare it. I walk in it. Thank you for the open door. Thank you for declaring that we are the church of Philadelphia today. 
Woo! Father, we thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Father, we thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, we thank you. Mm. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We are praying and something is happening. We're not looking for it to happen. The millionaire is on his way to 5744 Highway 20 South. Oh, God. Or 10 to 20 folk are declaring that they're giving 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars. I'm walking in it by faith, by faith. The owner of the building will turn the church over to us. The owner of the land will turn the land over to us by faith. It's supernatural that it shall manifest in 2024 because we have been obedient to the will of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're walking by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, God, by faith. Ah, ah, God, hallelujah. 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 Declaring it by faith, God, that the will of God would be done and made manifest on earth in this place by your faith, God. Hallelujah. We are trusting you. When we know nothing else, we know God. When I know nothing else, I know God. I know you as a healer. I know you as a deliverer. I know you as my Savior. Hallelujah. And I trust you, God, for what we pray down, we're, we're planting it in the soil as we're praying manifestations oh god hallelujah hallelujah i feel the joy of the lord for when harvest come we won't be able to re even retain ourselves contain ourselves at all yeah god but we thank you in the meantime we're thanking you in the meantime we're glorifying your name and we're honoring you and thanking you for the open door come on church and thank him put online and say lord i thank you for my open door what's your open door take the time out now and say lord i thank you for my open door lord i thank you for my open door of of this great grace that you've given me lord i thank you for this open door by faith that you're saving my children lord i thank you for this open door by faith god that the millions are coming to pay off the church and that we're able to build houses buy other folk cars do things that that we need to buy a bus for the church, God. Be able to get to the seniors and bring the seniors in. Be able to go down and get Carol. Have somebody drive in the bus and pick Carol up. By faith, thank you for my open door, God. Thank you for the manifestations in my life, God. God, I thank you. God, I thank you because you've already turned things around. You're, 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 you've already done it because we're praying by faith. It's already done. Have us to walk into the door that's already open for us. We declare it to be so, God, and greater work shall be made manifest in our lives, God, as we continue to bless your name, honor you, and lift you up. Yea, God, my soul says yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Come on, tell him thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the, for the great blessings like never before. We honor you. So we pray the prayer by faith, God, touching and agreeing with the power of Jesus that abides within us. We say, let it be so, let it be done in Jesus' name. And I declare to you that I stand in agreement with you, whoever's online today, hallelujah, in your prayer that God will manifest it and that you would have not many days hence have an outstanding, overwhelming, supernatural testimony of what God has done and continued continues to do in your life. You are blessed. Remain blessed today. Come on, as we even close out, shout hallelujah, hallelujah.